Today is the beginning of a very cold week here in Germany, so the temperatures are plummeting. And today, we don't have so much going on in regards to horses. We only have one where we're going to go and visit the veterinary surgeon later, so that is going to be pretty interesting if I can get out on camera for you. But what we're going to do now is drive all the way up to a place called Taunus. So for those of you that do not know much about Germany, there's a place called Frankfurt, and Frankfurt is the international or the financial capital of Germany. That's where a lot of the financial and investment companies are in Germany. So we're heading to a place north of Frankfurt called Taunus. And Taunus is a very nice area, and we're going to go up there because I have to collect a few things from a store, but I'm sure we're going to be able to find something interesting. Okay, so we're standing out here somewhere and uh, we're going to try and go and see if this is open. I doubt it's open, but uh, what's pretty cool is you can see over here all of these old stonework. So this stonework must have been stuff like this. So we've been very lucky and fortunate to be able to stumble across this place here. Let's see if this moves. And, oh, no, we're locked out. No entrance. Ah, oh, there's an exit. Again, because of the situation, it seems like we have been outplayed on the game of chess. Checkmate. So it seems like because of the situation that we have at the moment, this place is closed, which is quite uh, frustrating, really, because uh, it's not often that we're up in this region, Taunus, but I can imagine that once this place opens again, and it's going to be really busy because it is quite spectacular. What it is, you're probably asking me, okay, Jimmy does Germany, but we're not really doing Germany at the moment because everything's closed. So what that is behind us is an old Roman fort. So first established in, I think it said uh, 135 AD. So, and um, at one stage had 600 troops and then it went all the way up to like 2000 troops. And the reason why they were here was because here is, I think it's called the, the Limes. So the border between the old Roman, uh, Holy Roman Empire and the Germanic tribes. So the, the, the tribes of Germany. And so this place was built to defend or to act pretty much like border police, you know. So that's pretty cool. I wonder, let's go down into one of these. Oh wow. We've literally just dropped down, what, one and a half meters? way down a little bit taller than one and a half meters two meters and the temperature has warmed up significantly just by walking down that slope so I suppose these are some of the old outbuildings but Wilhelm II so in the year 1897 so the end of the 1800s Wilhelm II from Germany he went ahead and actually reconstructed all of that fort behind that you can see so that they rebuilt it and they actually put it into use but not, not as well, border police and stuff, but they had horses and things here. That would have been interesting, especially because I put shoes on horses, but unfortunately, I don't see any horses around at the moment. So supposedly this here, the villages and the buildings, that is what is laying right over here. So I suppose you could imagine that, okay. This goes down about two meters in, has the window. Maybe that was an old fireplace or storage or where they might have kept something, but yeah. And over there, 
over there and along here is all where the people would have collected their fresh water from but a shame all of this is locked up So I suppose these buildings are also part of the old village. It looks like almost every house has its own well. There's a well at the back of that tree there. to get up around the side of it a little bit but you can see the, the, the scale of this place is pretty immense so I can't wait to get back here when everything's calmed down so my question is when you can see the, the scale of that the amount of stones and construction material that's gone into it. The next question is, where did all of this come from? Because we're right up on top of a hill and I'm not sure where the stonework, the quarry is. Did they bring it all up on horses? Cool. Am I glad to have a car with a heater in it? It says minus six, but it feels so much colder. So onwards and upwards, next location, let's see what we can find. But today isn't really the day to be out walking. You know how it is when it's freezing cold outside. You drive along and you see that big yellow logo. And you know you shouldn't, but it just reaches out and it just says, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. and for those of you who are German, try not to laugh at my German accent my English accent with my German language skills. Hello. Hello. Ich hätte gerne ein Hamburger Rau TS, das Menü mit Cola. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Mit Pommes, Kischer und Cola? Uh, mit, Ma Ma mit Mayo. Ja, und noch was? Ja, das war's. Danke. Bitte fahren Sie vor. Danke. Okay, the process of wearing a mask has actually been around for a while now. And, uh, even on the drive through but roll on the summer. It almost feels like it's the world just resetting itself. I know it sounds really, really strange. But like, it's almost like Earth has just turned around to the people and said, oh, you shut down your whole world. You've cut back a lot. Now it's my turn to take over and just blitz in the country with, and the globe with cold weather and freezing and cooling everything down. It's just a thought. Oh, why did I order cola? Should have got a coffee or something like that. <laughs> Must have been the cold. It was affecting my thinking.
I wish to be, I wish to be me.